Here are three reasons why a bare ACL surgery won't help in the long term. Let me just explain a bare surgery for you in case you're not familiar. Bear, B-E-A-R, stands for Bridge Enhanced ACL Restoration. Sometimes it's called a repair as well. They switch out those R words at the end. And all it is, it's a new surgery for ACL tears where they don't have to take a graft from a tendon or a ligaments from somewhere else in your knee. So this reduces the amount of surgical incisions that are made on your knee so that you can get an ACL surgery done. This surgery is brand new, it is breakthrough, it is definitely a, a new way to do an ACL surgery, but I think there are some problems with this surgery, and let me share with you those three problems. Number one is that it does not address the root cause of an ACL tear. Now you might be thinking, well, I had an accident, I had a sporting accident, or there was a car accident, or something happened, and that's what tore my ACL. Yeah, that could have happened to you, but especially if you had pain ongoing before your ACL tear, then chances are you had a root muscle imbalance that has been loosening your ACL and preparing it to tear. It's been leading up to that moment when you had that bad step or that fall that caused the tear. And let me explain this imbalance to you just a bit. So here's the knee. Here's the kneecap. Above the kneecap are the thigh muscles, the quad muscles in the front of the thigh. When those muscles are over dominant or over strong, they're, they're being used too much, they cause you to stabilize your knee in a way that puts too much tension on that ACL, that ligament deep inside the knee that's responsible for a lot of stability in the knee. So if you're quad dominant, then chances are you're gradually putting too much tension through your ACL with your everyday movements and especially during higher level activities like exercise and competitive sports. Usually the way to fix this problem is by getting stronger in other muscles so that the quads don't have to stabilize so much. It's usually the glutes, sometimes in the foot muscles or a combination of the two. If you get those muscles stronger, then it allows the quads to act more normal. They, they decelerate knee, knee flexion. And so that helps you to take pressure off the ACL. This surgery, any ACL surgery, it does not change the way you move. It does not change the tensions in the ACL. It's the, the goal of the surgery is to get the ACL to be normal again as far as the connection between the ligament that, that attaches the thigh bone to the shin bone. And that surgery is successful at it, but I think that you're going to be susceptible to re-injuring your ACL later on if you don't fix that root problem. The second reason is that going through any surgery, even the bare ACL surgery, adds to your recovery time. The recovery time for a typical ACL surgery is going to be anywhere from 6 to 12 months depending on what you were doing before because you will call yourself recovered if you're back to doing your usual activities. And if you're not that active of an individual, then you're probably going to be on the shorter end, like 6 months. If you're a very active, like highly competitive athlete, then probably 12 months is what you need to get back to that level again because of the strength that you have to gain, the confidence and being able to do the activities that you're going back to. But for a bare ACL surgery, the recovery time is about the same after you have the surgery. We find that here in the clinic, when we're helping people heal from an ACL injury without surgery, the recovery times are anywhere from three to six months, even getting back to running and doing weights and competitive activities. And I think this is because we don't have to deal with surgical incisions. We can just worry about the original injury, which is the torn ACL. Because we're putting people in the position where their ACL is on slack, because we're taking tension off of the ACL, it allows the ACL to begin to heal right away. And then you can begin to fix the muscle imbalances that allow you to get back to being active again with normal tension through your ACL so that you can be good for the long term. And the third reason why I think a bare surgery won't help in the long term is because when you're going through the recovery, through the rehabilitation after getting a bare ACL surgery, you have to do certain activities in order to get all the motion back to wake up the muscles that shut down after surgery. There's just certain things you have to go through as a result of the side effects of dealing with the surgery. As you're going through those exercises, as you're off your feet and you're having to be on crutches for the amount of time that you have to to heal from the surgery, you're picking up bad movements and you're feeding strength into muscles that you don't need to be that don't need to be strong for the long term because they're going to feed into the imbalance. 
it's very common to be focusing on quad exercises, the muscles that are on the front of the thigh, because those muscles shut down very often after a knee surgery. And if you're strengthening those quads over and over again, as you're required to in physical therapy treatment after any knee surgery, especially an ACL surgery, then you're going to be feeding into the muscle imbalance that's going to set you up to add more tension to the ACL in the long term. This is why I don't think it's a good idea. Now, if you're looking for help with fixing the root problem so that you can avoid having an ACL surgery, even a bare ACL surgery, then you have to check out our treatment approach that we packaged into the ACL tear recovery program. You can find a link to this in the description below. I've made over 40 videos of me guiding you through our treatment approach on how to address an ACL tear properly so that you can avoid surgery. It's got all the steps from beginning to end from if you just torn your ACL or even if you've torn your ACL a while ago and you're still dealing with knee problems and you haven't had surgery yet. And then also even if you have had surgery, and it didn't work out so well for you. Maybe you had a failed ACL surgery or it succeeded, but you're still not 100%. You still have some knee issues, pain, discomfort, swelling, or even just a lack of confidence in your knee because it doesn't feel right whenever you do higher level, more intense activities. This program can help you out. You'll figure out where you are in the healing process and get, you, get yourself all the way back to where you're running, jumping, lifting weights confidently because it addresses the root problem that sets up too much tension through your ACL. Go check that out in the description below and also check out our ACL videos. We have a library of ACL help here on YouTube. I've got a playlist for you called the ACL Tear Help Playlist. It'll be down in the description below as well. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.